So today I decided to add solar to the top of my truck to power my Yeti 1000 uh, so that I can run my um, Coleman ice chest. I guess not an ice chest, but an electric cooler in the back of my truck. We're going on about a five or six hour trip and the RV that I have uh, has a, a um, what is it called? A residential refrigerator in it and it's going to pull way too many uh, watts for the amount of drive time we have to do in order to get where we're going so I this is why I put up this solar panel well the good thing was that I already had round uh, Yakima racks on my car and I went to Home Depot to figure out how I was going to attach this to it and they have these little things here, although this is a really small one. You can see the difference here. This is a one inch, and this is the package it comes in, right there. And it's rubber so that it, it doesn't allow it to move. And sheer luck, this thing already comes pre-drilled with holes every so, so many inches uh, so that you can, you know, attach, it has more attachment points. So it just, like I said, sheer luck. That these were that my my two racks were spaced exactly the the length that that would allow me to be able to to screw into the solar panel. So all I did was take one of these. I guess it's going to be one inch, and put it this way. I'm sorry, this way, and slide it through there, and then I just put a bolt in here with the lock nut. And I put a washer on this side and the other side. Didn't really need it, but I thought I'd add it just so I wouldn't mess up the uh, the solar panel. Because this isn't going to be its its final resting place. It's actually going to go on my Airstream, which is which I'm renovating right now. We'll get to that later. So anyway, um, so I put it up here, and I'm going to run this cord again, which I bought on eBay. It's 30 foot, 10. Uh, 10 uh, 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 AUG AWG and it's got the MC4 connectors that are going to connect right on that and then it's got the, uh, the connector for the goal zero my plan with that is to connect those in here and then th this has a channel here so you can tell see my fingers there it has a channel right there so I'm gonna run the cable all the way there and use the holes that they have already pre-drilled to put zip ties through them just to hold it in place so it's not dangling up there and then come down here come on the back of my truck and put it in the back here and I'm gonna drill a hole to go into the back of the truck and then I'll drill a hole to go into the cab of the truck that way I can either put the Yeti 1000 in the back of my truck or I can put it in the back seat or I can put it back here in the the back of the truck it's covered you know if I didn't have this retracts on it, I would have just, you know, hung it down here and it would have sat, would have, you know, I would have been able to just put it right in. But anyway, that's what I did today uh, to be able to get power to my Yeti 1000. And this particular one, I think, gives me 96 watts per hour. And if you recall, I did a, a video on, let me see. I did a video on my uh, on my Coleman uh, I don't know, uh, ice chest, electric ice chest, or whatever you want to call it. I did a video on that. So, and that thing takes about 42 watts. And so, anyway, I should have plenty of power. And I, when I get to where I'm going, I should also have a full uh, Yeti 1000. It should have com the battery you know, should be completely full. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping for. And I'll, I'll be going on that trip in a couple of weeks, so I can update you on that and see how it worked.